Hey there guys and welcome back to God of War. In the last part we got Aphrodite's necklace as well, so now we have both of them. Now all that's left for us to do is get back to where we needed to place those two necklaces and continue on our merry way. And let's see, I think we had to go through here. Yeah we did. Oh, so much backtracking in this part, I mean. That's like the third or fourth time that I've been cranking this lever and doing this bloody bridge puzzle. But it'll all be over soon. And this LP is pretty much almost nearing its end, believe it or not. This is part 26, I believe. And I checked this LP has a total of 32 parts, so... Yeah. After this one, that leaves only 6 videos to go. And that should be an attainable goal in the God of War weekend that's coming up. Anyways, here's the statues. There we... <coughs> Sorry, just had a Coke. Cokes always make, always make me burp like crazy. Anyways, put Hera's necklace on the statue. And then we'll put Aphrodite's necklace on the statue. And there's a red orb chest in the background, but I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get over there. So we will let it be. Okay. Oh. They retract. Oh, you gotta love puzzles like this. It's a good thing he automatically latches onto ledges. Otherwise, this would have been a hard one. And what's in here? Red orbs. I really need to upgrade something. I mean, in, from the meter there, I have 16... ...things. 16 bars. Whatever. Yeah, we'll upgrade Army of Hades. Make that overpowered piece of magic even more overpowered. That sounds like a totally good idea. I mean, hell, we might be needing it sometime soon. More powerful souls. Brilliant. Alright, moving on. Crap. Come on. Move it, thing. Jump. And we made it. Of course, we always make it. Now, oh, what's this? Cutscene. The path before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast. His humanity robbed and replaced only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos, and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest, all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless, feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold. Never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die.
In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. Ares, you will die for what you did that night. Wow, that's really a bitch move from Ares. I mean, I can totally see why he wants vengeance now. So, yeah. I mean, what more backstory does Kratos need? Oh, hey, the souls are red now. And they really freaking butcher those minotaurs. Uh, I love the army of Hades. It's like the best freaking magic in the entire series. Apart from maybe... What's it called? Uh, I think there also was like this magic in God of War 2 which was crazy overpowered. Uh, oh, do we probably have to break this, huh? Or jump over it. That's... That also works. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, a rope. Okay, we're going vine swinging again. And jump. Yeah, we're just like Tarzan. Now all we need is a talking monkey and an elephant that's scared of everything, and then we'll be just like Disney's Tarzan. Though I'm pretty sure Disney does not own the Tarzan story. Wasn't there like some really old book or something about that, like about Tarzan, which Disney then turned into a cartoon or something? I mean, I seem to remember that being the case. But anyways, how the discussion shifted from God of War to Disney's Tarzan, I do not know. Alright, it makes for good discussions in the comments because I know you guys all... Well, some of you do like that. Others just post first and get blocked and then never, ever, ever get to comment on any of my videos again. Because that's how I treat first posters. My reward to you being first. You get an infinite block on my videos. Anyways, we're in the architect's tomb now, so let's save up because I can see some buzz saws up ahead and that's obviously not going to be a very nice puzzle. <laughs> Especially considering this is my first playthrough of this game. So I really don't know what the hell... Well... Oh probably a time challenge, yeah? Well, let's run then. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky one. See, I told you this is gonna be a tricky one. <coughs> Alright, try that one again. Come on, open up. And here we go. Jump, jump. Another jump. Come on, platform, get over here. Freaking buzzsaw, stop getting in the damn way. Okay, can I make it? Whoa, that was a close one. Come on. Ah, what? It's locked already. That is a near impossible time limit. Okay, stop, mm, smash some coffins and raise the gate. Oh, and it falls shut behind me. So I'm locked in here with that guy. Who does not seem like he wants to drink a cup of tea and talk about the news. No, he wants a brutal combat action. But luckily that's Kratos' speciality. And he has brought some friends over. Just shoulders dash into him. And take him down with their own weapon. Oh, I love doing that finisher. It's so satisfying. Oh, there's another one. Well, suit yourself. Hmm. Took care of that one rather easily. Alrighty. What's up here? 
Ah, uh, no, no, no. I hate those guys so much. Bloody Cyclopses. Oh, great, and there's dogs too. Blade of Artemis, I need you. Roll, roll. Do a barrel roll. Ah. Uh, this calls for the army of Hades. Come on, my overpowered souls. Kill everything in sight. And kill everything in sight, they do. No more Cyclops to deal with, that's for sure. All we need to deal with now are some fiery dogs. Come here, puppy. Let me take your head off. Nice. I really hope PETA doesn't see this. Or they'll be thro like throwing paint bombs at my house. And I don't want that. I hate cleaning. Seriously, you should see my room. It's a huge mess. But never mind what's going on in here. Oh, we smashed the gate. Always breaking and entering, Kratos. Didn't your mama never tell you to not do that? And we get another Phoenix Feather, so yay! Open the bloody chest, man. Because we might need the army of Hades again soon. Let's see, is there anything else here? Don't think so. Get up the ladder then. Yay, ladder. What's this? It's a crane of some sort. And there is a switch over there. Apparently. So let's just drop that big ass block on there now, shall we? Bam. Or was that like something? I don't think it was actually. I think it was just a shadow. Yeah, there's a button. Let's see. Aim it carefully. The crane requires some precision controls. It tends to go too far. Alright. Let's see what this does. Uh-huh. That's real nice. But now we still need to get that open. And just jump down. Yeah, we just jump 50 feet down. No problem. No broken legs or anything. Because we're Kratos, and Kratos is like Superman, but stronger. I mean, hell, lots of people thought he could beat the Hulk in the previous video. So yeah, who would win, Kratos or Superman? That'd be an interesting matchup. Now, smash these coffins. Oh, it's this for a statue. What does that do? Oh, is this wall like climbable? Apparently not. It sure looks like it's climbable with all the vines on it and stuff. Why does this game deceive me so? Alright, where do we take this freaking statue? Uh, wait a minute. Maybe the statue needs to go over there. Yeah, pretty sure that's the case. You have to go all the way back up to the frickin' crane and redo the damn puzzle again. Oh well. At least there's no more enemies. Right? Sure as hell hope so. I don't want to have to unleash the army of Hades again. But when I do, they will pretty much rape and destroy every enemy that's around. No matter how strong. So yeah, in the next part of God of War, we will do more crane puzzles. Bye-bye.